This is your home? Domicile? Flop house? Oh, Fred. Lady Luxie oh. is sitting in our Wait. laps today. She is, huh? I thought you said this thing misfunctioned on you. Oh, that is a falsity. What actually happened was we were working on him one day and suddenly he struck by lightning. And from this moment on, he's having a mind of his own. So, one of the best ways to basically identify all the tools that are currently using GPT-3 is, of course, Product Hunt. And what Product Hunt does is it aggregates all the different SaaS products that have GPT-3 included either within their title or their description. So in this case, the top ones that I found so far are, of course, Copysmith. Company in a box has been recommended to me, but I haven't been able to make it work. Uh, GPT-3 blog idea generator, which I just tested right now. I think it's this one. It should be this one. And copy.ai as well. And of course you have other ones like Magic Flow, which I just haven't had time to uh, check out. But essentially, as per what I mentioned previously, all these different companies, most of them, should have an API access token to open AI. If we head over to company in a box, the way that this one works, but actually I won't cover this one because this one doesn't work. But if we head over to Copysmith, there's a couple of different applications to it. And this is the free trial again. But if you head over to it and you click on new file, this is, these are the different applications of it. So we'll use content expander just to see how it works. So essentially what you do here is you give it a bullet point. It gives you direct examples of what to input. Being active on Twitter is crucial for your career. LinkedIn is for professional connections and Twitter is for lifelong friendships. This guy, third bullet point, second bullet point, and it expands based on the content. So it could be a, I haven't actually used this module yet, but it could be a direct uh, substitute for copywriters possibly. So let's test it out. Uh, being active on Twitter is crucial for your career. We'll change it over to being active on LinkedIn is very important. Very important for your career. LinkedIn is for professional connections and Twitter, uh, we'll do Facebook and Facebook is for friends. Facebook is for friends. This guy teaches you. This guy teaches you how to network over LinkedIn. And the keywords to avoid will add. Um, I'm just thinking, we'll add. Keywords to avoid business. Let's see how it performs. Generate. And then it takes some time. It sends the, because apparently, again, they have API access to GPT-3. It sends the request and then they receive the output. And I think they pay to receive, uh, to, to have the ability to do that. They pay per usage as far as I'm thinking. So first bullet point, LinkedIn is a great site for professionals who work in technology. Okay, it's very important to be active on social media in order to build your brand. You don't want to mix up your personal life with your professional life in social media. LinkedIn is the best network for professionals to make connections and build their professional brand, while Facebook is better for staying in touch with friends. LinkedIn is the most important social network for your career. It's where people go to connect with others, and it's the place where recruiters go to look for candidates. So, again, it's less of a T2000, and it's more of a like R2D2, <laughs> like, I, I really don't see it like, you know, eradicating copywriters. Like it's gonna take some time because it doesn't look that deadly or dangerous yet. But as a small feedback loop to just maintain and to have it there whilst uh, you're, you're in a bit of a like dead zone or like a writer's block or anything of like that because I don't know you're spending too much time on the laptop or whatever. <laughs> then yeah it makes sense but again it's 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 not there definitely not there linkedin is the most important social media network for you if you work in tech just different variations of it like again i'm i'm, I'm not seeing the you know the craze behind it then the other one this is actually the 
article that was written by GPT-3, the Guardian one. We asked GPT-3 OpenAI, a powerful new language generator to write an essay for us from scratch, da, da, da. There's a link for this in the description. And then what it did was essentially is it wrote the article for them. I'm a human, I'm a robot, a thinking robot, 12%. I'm a micro robot. I know that my brain is not a feeling brain. This is actually written quite well, to be entirely honest, because I actually skimmed through this and this is written like super, super well. Like if, if you get an output like this, that's pretty crazy. Like I'd be amazed if Copysmith, for instance, gave me an output like this based upon what I input. But then I learned the truth as well. So the way that this was created was GPT-3 created three, uh, four articles for them in total. And then of course, definitely, there's no doubt about it, a Guardian editor edited a couple of bits left and right to just give it that buzz or that craze like you know it was written by gpt3 i really don't feel like you know it, it was just gave it an input done it was written and the, there was no editing required based upon you know what we're seeing right here from direct outputs from of course copysmith.ai like there there could be uh, some sort of mismatch with regards to the connection there but i just it, I really don't feel like it's there yet. Like the, the type of articles that it could produce if you just start connecting different pieces of text together are more along the lines of those just filler articles that you see for SEO purposes, just for unique Google content that's just there. But for meaningful or meaningful content that you're gonna read and you're like, wow, I, this is crazy. Definitely, definitely, definitely not. Definitely not. There, there's, um, I put, yeah, there's no way, no way. Um, but yeah, then the other one, of course, is copy.ai. So it's another just variation of GPT-3 again. Uh, apparently, they use it as well. Does copy.ai use GPT-3? I think it does. Yeah, it does, apparently. GPT-3 app. So copy.ai is the other one and then you can see here all the different variations and tools that it can do for you so brainstorming tools and again as a brainstorming tool it's it's dope it's legit like i'll even i'll even probably buy a subscription to copy.ai or copysmith for a brainstorming tool I, like i like it a lot but as a you know is that like killer thing where it's like single input final output and it's perfect definitely not um and it can produce like all these different variations. The coolest application that I've seen so far from Copysmith is, I lost them, is this one. So it can actually create a landing page for you. And the reason as to why it caught my attention not, is, isn't because, you know, the landing, the copy of the landing page is perfect, but it actually creates a visual model for you as well. So if you head over to, I think it's at the bottom, should be somewhere here, landing pages right here and then like we'll do inside inside for example so inside inside and then we do dot at tonal product keywords uh right so i'll answer something now like marketing growth marketing growth uh, digital description We'll change it to provides marketing services to um, consulting companies. We'll make it more specific because still generate. Now you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So again, it takes 15 seconds because they probably send an API request and then they receive an answer. And this has a free trial as well. Again, I'll include the link for all the SaaS companies directly in the description itself. What the fuck is this? So let's check it. it as I mentioned, so it like creates the, the back end for you, but I'm so confused. We're a small family run business. We take pride in our craft. Did I mistype something? Evidently I mistyped something because this is crazy. And this is usually like the only... This sucked, man. <laughs> So there was a better example, which I'll showcase right now, because this was definitely not the right one. So yeah, if we just go back on this, probably because I included some weird words like the marketing services to consulting companies. Okay. 
So if I click on it now, all right, now, now it actually generated the right one. So you could see the landing page creation and it, it just visualizes it for you, which is pretty cool as well. Of course, the images aren't like entirely relevant because what do sacks of rice have to do with campaign results? But it gives you that as a brainstorming tool, it's super dope. But as a like, I won't repeat myself on this, but you, I mean, you could see the results right here. So achieve your business goals, etc. just different paragraphs and then digital agency for consulting companies, marketing agency for consulting companies. So straight to the point, etc. It uses a couple of, you know, the uses a couple of the just advertising parameters that advertisers use whenever they're copywriting.